guys welcome back to i don't want to call this car chronicles because i think somebody else has car chronicles so if y'all can think of a title for my car vlogs let me know i'm just gonna put it under pink um blogtober or whatever it is we're doing but when it's not october or the holiday time i need a name for my car vlogs so someone's dm me this and thank you for the dms and thank you for the topics i really appreciate it so it was all the things that me, that I think it was like a turn off that men say are a turn off about women or don't like about women. And I'm going to put it right in front of me so I don't have to take my eyes off the road. Child, these men is tripping, okay? Tripping. So the first one is not picking up your feet when women don't pick up their feet. Now I can say that's, that's not a turn off. It's a, a lot of people that get aggravated by people not picking up their feet, even me. Like... I have one sister that drags her feet and we just watch her go through the house like because she just drags her feet when she walks especially if she have on slides or something oh she just drags and drags and drags her feet so I don't think that's necessarily a male turn off whatever man said that he just doesn't like that he's just aggravated by that and that probably could be his auntie sister cousin any woman you know what I'm saying so i can see that being aggravating um they said a lot of them said our lashes our lashes the long 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 lashes let me tell these men something they are under the wrong impression if they think we wear this lashes for them i don't wear my makeup for a man i don't wear my lashes for a man i don't wear my nails for a man now there are some women that dress up to impress men to get a man or whatever i don't do that i wear what i like i do what i love i have lashes but i'm aware of my false lashes now i know they're probably talking about like i've seen some lashes that i wouldn't even put on on people i mean they're just humongous like humongous and i mean if i didn't wear glasses i probably would wear my lashes maybe a little bit longer y'all know i already like a full lash I probably would wear them a little bit longer, but I've seen some lashes that just was ridiculous. So maybe that's the ones they're talking about. I'm talking about the ones that look like it's already Halloween. Like they spider. The lashes look like spider legs. They already Halloween. Like maybe they're talking about those. But for men who don't like false lashes, like that's your business. Because most of the time, most of these women are wearing lashes because they like to wear them. They ain't wearing them for you. And you ain't got nothing to do with my god doggone lashes. Like, my lashes ain't a part of our relationship. I mean, I understand the little funny TikToks they made where you leave them on the sink or leave them on their pillow and they think it's a spider. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I got you. I don't have that problem. Um, I take mine off before I go to sleep. If I'm going to reuse them, I put them in a container. Yeah, sometimes that container is on the sink, but they're in a the container. But it is what it is. I'm not stunting you in these doggone lashes. Like... Y'all don't even want to hear the things that turn us off about y'all. Y'all don't have these men don't even groom the way we groom. And they got the nerve. They got the nerve. So some men said giving their opinion when it says men only. I didn't really understand what that means. I thought they were saying jumping in men conversations. Like, you know, you out with a bunch, with some guys or a guy stop and talk to his guy friend and you butt in their conversation. But they said when it says men only, I don't really know what that means. When they said giving your opinion, when it says men, men only, I'm not sure. Um, a real funny one. I've never done this. Maybe because I have three kids and maybe because I was married all the time. I did have a small dating piece in between my first and second marriage but they said when they call you putting your baby on the phone i have never done that i can see it and it was funny to me but i'm like putting your baby on the phone like and i seen somebody did a tiktok about it and that made me realize what they were saying i guess they called to talk to you and you'd be like oh hold on my baby want to talk to you but i just never done that I'm not knocking anybody who does. Y'all have y'all reasons for doing it. But just know these dudes don't want to talk to y'all babies or y'all kids. That's what they're saying, okay? I, I can't recollect. I've never done that. I've never put my kids on the phone when a dude called me, whether it was my older kids or my. Now, I've been dating a guy 
and you know you have a teenage kid and they know who you dating and they say hi and they say hi like through the phone like tell them I say hi and it's a hi hi but I've never put my baby they say a baby baby um or kids on the phone and then what did they say baby hairs over 35 baby hairs over 35 this is a very touchy subject because you got some women that love their baby hairs now me i am not a baby hair person i am over 40 baby time is gone i enjoyed the baby hairs while i had them do not put no baby hairs on my face my forehead my eyebrows don't put no baby hairs all the way down to my nose do not give me no baby hairs i don't mind you swooping my edges thank you but i don't need no baby hairs okay and evidently these men are not liking baby hairs over 35 okay that's what they say um and i think was that it that was it there was a lot of comments but all the comments were like the same thing all the men i'm gonna tell y'all something all the men that commented pretty much stay on the same path they they the comments were re, re, um, repetitive um, so evidently these are things that they really are concentrating on or whatever so now we need to go under here and I need to hear from y'all what's the turn off for y'all for men I know for me um, a man that's not he don't have to be in name brand stuff or whatever but he has to be well groomed he has to be he has to care about how he walks out the house let me put it that way I don't care if it's a pair of Walmart jeans and a nice shirt. You need to care about how you walk out the house. You can't just be walking out the house any kind of way, especially if you if we going actually somewhere. Um, a turn off for me is if their feet are not clean. I know a lot of men have rough feet and that's perfectly fine. I understand that they're not going to get pedicures like we are, but their feet, their toenails gotta be cut. Their feet have to be clean. Um, and I'm a kisser. I'm a major kisser, so their mouth, you ain't got to be perfect, nah, but the mouth got to be like, you You can't be riding here missing six teeth on the top and six teeth on the bottom, or rotten teeth or whatever, like your mouth got to be straight, like, you might not have a perfect mouth, but I got to want to get a kiss, and if I don't want a kiss from you, I don't even need to talk to you. Like, we don't even need to go that route. And that's on everything I love, okay? Like, seriously. Um, but everybody has different turnoffs. You know what I'm saying? So, what are y'all turnoffs for men? And also, what don't y'all care about that they don't like? Like, if a man says, oh, I don't like this, and you be like, oh, like, if, if there's a guy I meet, like, even Ricky Smiley, Sometimes, and I have nothing against Ricky Smiley, he's funny and I like him, and everybody has a preference. But he'll be like, Oh, I like a natural woman with natural hair, and da 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 da. And see, I'm not gonna change for you. I love my lace fronts, I love my weave, I love my braids, and I'm not gonna stop getting them to get a man. You know, you got certain guys that don't like women that wear makeup, that's their business. I'm not gonna stop wearing makeup to get you. You know, you got to be a billionaire, and you got to be breaking me off weekly for me to stop wearing makeup to get you for me to change who I am I don't feel like a woman should have to change who they are as far as what they like and stuff like that if I've been doing this for 20, 30, 40 years why am I changing this to please you you know I don't try to change a person I just have things that I like and everybody has things that they like that's on their list and they're like oh you know you got guys that don't younger guys I hear a lot of younger guys I have a younger brother two younger brothers um, and they talk about not dating women with kids and I'm like look bro in this day and age a woman gonna have at least one kid And that's not changing who she is or her personality or anything. I wholeheartedly understand Why they would want to ease up off the kids um, If I got back out there the person that approached me kids will have to be older like over 15 Their kids will have to be over 15. I don't want to deal with your baby mama. Your kids need to be over 15 where they, you could call their phone and they could call your phone. I don't want your baby mama calling your phone. I don't want her calling your phone 10, 11 o'clock at night playing no petty behind games. So at the end of the day, everybody has their preference. But when it comes to things that they do or have that we don't like, for me, it's appearance, feet, 
and mouth. So what is it for y'all that's a turn off for a man or what are some things that y'all don't like that they do? One thing I don't like that they do is this right here. I don't like that they think that everything we do is for them. I don't know where men get that stereotype from. Now, 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 they're not wrong. A lot of things, a lot of women, a lot of women do is to attract the man's attention. For instance, not wearing any clothes, halfway dressing, booty cheeks hanging out, everything everywhere. Yes, those women are doing it for you, and they're trying to get your attention. And when you fall for it, you gonna have a psychopath on your hands. They ain't gonna get be able to get rid of them because all you want to do is see what that's all about. And they looking for a full blown relationship dressed like that. Okay, please believe it. So there are some women that do things just to attract a man, but they need to get out of this stigma that all women are doing everything every day for them. Because I don't think that's true. I think you got two different sets of women. You got the women that are blankly going out trying to get a man's attention with everything they do. And then you got the women that do stuff to make themselves feel good. Stop taking away what makes us feel good about ourselves. You know what I'm saying? If getting up in the morning and playing and makeup and putting my lashes on and doing all this stuff makes me feel good about myself, stop taking credit for it like I'm doing it for you. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it because it makes me feel good about myself and who I am and and because I like I love it you know that's just the bottom line so what are some of the things that y'all don't like that what's a turn off for you for a guy and what are some of the things that men do that y'all don't like how let you girl